What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I want to say thanks for watching. And uh, today we're going to be working on something a uh, little different. Not a little different. You've already seen this before, but I made a, you know, a short series about building a flatbed on the other truck I got. And we're going to obviously be building one on this truck. So I want to start that today because I'm going to take a little break from the usual, you know, me uh, hacking away at the truck over here. So I figure, uh, you know, I could go a little more in depth this time as we start uh, start you know laying stuff out and weld stuff together, you know more of a how-to video if you will. So, you know for those that might be interested in making one or building one themselves, you know this will be a uh, this will be a good start. So what we're going to work on is uh, like I said the flatbed, but probably just work on the uh, frame layout and stuff like that today. Probably won't get too too far but kind of be able to go over and talk about some things and uh, we're going to be using our uh, newly built unlevel as heck uh, roll around car today uh, might have to get some shins and stuff to uh, to make it level because I built it on a I built it on the floor and line everything up and uh, it's a little off so no big deal we just got to put a little shim under the one side but anyway that's what we're going to be doing today uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting some metal, and I'll be—I'll uh, kind of talk away through it to those that are interested, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, let's get started. Okay, so I got my uh, my two main supports cut out. One here, one there. Obviously, I'm move around here. Uh, these main runners, I'm using three sixteenths uh, thickness and a two by three inch rectangular tube. Same for the cross members here. And uh, I just want I want my main frame to be as strong as I can get it. So that's the reason for that. And then uh, everything else, pretty much, you know, I use a little bit of 316s here and there, but everything else from here up will be uh, like one, uh, one eighth thick running across the length of it. So I cleaned up the ends real quick so I get a nice square uh, butt up together. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my square, make sure this is square here, and I'll tack them. And then I'll measure, I'll measure across from corner to corner to check square. So let's do that now. So once you square from corner to corner, corner to corner, uh, let me try to do this one-handed maybe. So corner, we got seven foots, and we have eh, maybe a sixteenth. But what's a sixteenth among friends, right? So. Anyway, once you got that squared, tack everything like I got here. I got two tacks here, one underneath. That way this thing can't can't twist anymore. And uh, everyone's gonna be different. Every bed you build is gonna be different. You can use different material and everything. But uh, underneath here, I'm gonna run a couple. We'll just say that this is this is the back side of the frame over here. So since I uh, since on the truck my axle has slid so far back to the rear that my gooseneck ball is probably going to go right here on the back you know maybe a foot or two off the back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a brace or two up in the front to uh, to help support this and then uh, the gooseneck ball whenever I uh, get that put in here then I can uh, add some more bracing underneath but I'm just going to get a, maybe one in the middle and one up front and then uh, we can start laying out 
our cross members across. So I got a couple supports in here and, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> um, this is maybe about where my gooseneck's going to go. So I put a support underneath there to, uh, you know, obviously help support the weight of that. But anyhow, um, now I think I'm going to, like I said, I, I need to make my gooseneck uh, hitch and all that yet. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, start laying my runners I might skip over this part but I'll start here at the front and lay you know however many it needs to get to here then I'll probably skip there and come back to here so I can figure in how you know where and how I want to do here I might be able to add one one across here and then leave one blank or whatever but uh anyway I'm gonna start measure I want to measure my uh cab and this will this will vary depending on how how much you want to stick out you know I'm gonna keep it right out to the edge of this right here I'm not going to make it any wider than that. So, you know, obviously if this was a dually, you know, your dual wheels would come all the way out to here. You could make that bed, you know, stick out a foot if you wanted to. So it's up to you on this. I want it to be, you know, streamlined. So I might even come a little bit because I might add stake pockets to the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and figure my, figure that out, start cutting some up and then uh, start laying across here and figuring that out. So let's do that. All right, so I am going, uh, let's lay one here. I'm going to go with 76 inches uh, outside to outside. My front members here now are six foot. Like I said, it'll change, obviously, for whatever you're doing. But uh, how I lay these out, and this is how we, uh, I used to build a few trailers. Um, you know, between uh, between high school and uh, tech school, I went to, and uh, they always laid everything out on the diamonds. Uh, if you want, that is on your tape measure. So right there, diamond. Right here is diamond. I got a mark there. Got another diamond there, and so on and so forth. The last one. So we'll put one right over here. So that's how I've always laid it out. Um, whenever I build a trailer or build a bed or whatever. So. <clears throat> um, basically we'll have one, two, three, four, five, and maybe, maybe one more in here for the, uh, the hitch. Like I said, we'll, we'll see what we're doing with that yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'll cut out three more, lay them on here, and then we can get them tacked up and go from there. Okay, so I got all my sports in here. Like I said, might add one more in here somewhere. Man, maybe we'll just we'll just go. I don't know where to yet. But anyway, uh, one thing you need to think about is uh, your your wheel. Okay, so I have plenty of clearance because right now this this truck, as you can see, uh, this is about eh, right around ride height, maybe a little little higher. And you can see, I've already got. I got about three inches here. So I got three here, okay? And I also have a, the other three inch sitting on top of the frame. So I have plenty, I have plenty of clearance, but one thing you guys need to think about if you're, if you're doing this, remember when your wheels, if, if, if it's a close fit or you, know, you need to pick it up or whatever, you, know, you can gain some room by putting your wheel well or your center of your wheel in between the support. So just remember that when you're doing it. But other than that, this is all done um, I might come back and uh, I think I'm gonna angle this just a little bit back here and then uh, obviously come down and do whatever back here but just think about those few things um, now I think I don't know exactly I try to probably try to work on getting the uh, the rear hitch on hitch mount support and all that I think that's what we'll do now but uh 
yeah here I just make sure uh, you know if you're if your frame underneath is square you can do all you got to do is this just measure out from underneath right now you know every one of mine was 17 and an eighth underneath so that's how I did that and uh, pretty simple you know if you can go down here and and uh, I made a mark on the frame and I just follow that mark wherever I put one easier layout than that and you just go down zip 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 and it's done so <clears throat> you know most of this stuff is you know kind of lenient as far as what you can and can't do or what you want to do so uh, anyhow let's uh, let's get some supports let's get some supports off this so we can uh, we can fabricate our hitch on here so let's do that now So you can see, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. See how I got this kind of configured in here. Um, this is what I did on the last flatbed video you saw, and it's held up fine. Here I'm going to do a little different. Um, I'm not going to have these exposed as I did in the last one. I'm probably going to sheet metal over this whole thing. So the only thing you'll see sticking out will be this, uh, the hitch right here. and. For the pin through i'll have to reach up up and around to get a pin in it but that way you know somebody walking by they can't they don't see the pin they can't yank the uh you know it's not just uh yank the pin pull the hitch out you know take it away they gotta actually kind of work for it so give a little cleaner look and, and all that everything's just tacked up right now um i think uh i think this is a uh, a good stopping point for uh for this video so Anyway, give you guys a good look around. If you got any uh, questions, comments, let me know in the comments below. Try to answer the best I can. But uh, anyway, we're getting there. So I guess that's going to do it for this video. I want to say thanks for watching as always. And uh, if you want to see more, we got more coming. Don't worry about that. But uh, anyway, we'll be putting a, a headache rack on this bed for sure. And uh, not quite sure how I want it to uh, some kind of angle. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out eventually. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.